Hello, and welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim, and I'm back from America. And what better way to start off the new month than to review something Russian made in Taiwan? Currently in Hong Kong, we have WE's Makarov PPM GBB pistol. You might have seen the Makarov PPM in quite a few movies, TV series, and computer games. And in those games, movies, and TV series, the person using it might have been, most probably, Russian. And a vampire. Trust me, we know he's a vampire. The ambidextrous grip and outer barrel is made out of plastic, whilst everything else is made out of metal. I do like the curvature on the grip as well, as it is very comfortable to hold in both hands. The mag release can be found underneath the slide lock is found on the left side, as well as the decocker slash safety. It is also a double action pistol. The PPM has two very interesting features. First of all, how do you adjust the hopper? Well, you're going to have to lower the trigger guard, then the hammer, pull the slide back, and when you do lift it up, make sure the nozzle doesn't catch the outer barrel. And the hop-up adjustment can be found right here, and you just move it to the other side to increase the hop. Now to put it back together, which could be very frustrating if not done properly. You put the spring in and just slide it over the top and it should be right. Lift, pull, insert, and we're ready to go. But before we go to the second interesting feature, you might notice a thread on the inside of the inner barrel and outer barrel. This is because this particular set comes with a suppressor and extended inner barrel. You screw said inner barrel clockwise till it can't screw no more. And then the suppressor. And look at that. It's ready to play. I had only just realized that the extended inner barrel will also increase the power. So we're gonna do two chrono tests here. The magazine has a capacity of 16 BBs. So for this first chrono test, we're using 0.2 grams, 6 mm BBs. Just to let you know, the magazine can be charged from the bottom. Now for the second chrono test with the same BBs and the extended inner barrel. We are now at Milsim CQB and Training Center, not at the 10, not at the 20, but at the 15 meter range. Ooh. And we're gonna ping those targets just to see how it fares. That was my bad. All right, it's not so bad, but at 280 FPS, my grandmother could walk faster than the BB travels, and she is bedridden. So what we're gonna do is increase the power by adding that extended inner barrel. The front sight just about peers over the suppressor, which is nice. All right, so I've noticed two things. The positive thing first, say you're in an outdoor game, 360 FPS is absolutely perfect, but then you make your way indoors and you don't want to hurt anybody. You just remove the suppressor and the inner barrel and 280 FPS is perfect for that scenario. Another thing I've noticed is how the hop-up fluctuates once you remove or add the inner barrel, which is something that I do not want to change every time that happens, but there is an easy fix. Just make sure the hop is perfect for when the inner barrel is already attached, because once you have removed it and you're indoors, all you need is 10 and 15 meters anyway, you're gonna hit your target regardless. 
But how does it feel when I pull the trigger? It is more sluggish than snappy, only because it is winter, so during the summertime, I expect a lot more crisp action. I'm just gonna pull the trigger just to see. I may not even hit anything. That trigger pull is nice. I don't have to completely lift my finger off the trigger and then pull it back just to shoot it again. I'm not a big fan of how flimsy the slide lock is though. So how do we conclude the WE Makarov GBB? I do like the additional extended inner barrel and suppressor. I think that's a very nice touch and very user friendly. The dimensions may not be exact here and there, but that grip is very comfortable to hold and during the summer, it'll be much snappier. You might notice the BB is wavering left to right once you push 20 meters or further, but it's fine. It's not like you're going to be sniping with this anyway. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com and see you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. If you'd like to know more about Milsim CQB and Training Center, click on the link in the description below. Porn stash out. And a bit quick, stole my mug. Do subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with our latest and coolest videos.